This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If you would like to follow along with this lesson, navigate to Working Files, Lesson 7, Masks. In the previous lesson, we created a shape around the green vase using a bezier shape. If you're following along, we will need the layers panel and the canvas. Select the green vase layer. As I mentioned before, because this is a scaled down image, we want to mask the group, not the layer. So with the group selected, navigate to Bezier Mask, and let's draw a quick mask around the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go back and edit the mask. To close a shape, either click the first point, press the return key, or double click. And now we have our mask. If we go to the color drop down menu and choose alpha, we can see the alpha portion of the image and see that we have white for opaque and black for transparent. Return to color. Now we want to edit the mask. Ensure that Bezier mask is selected in the layers panel, and you can edit the shape in two different ways. You can either double click on it or choose Adjust Item or Edit Points from the Tool menu. As we click on the points, we can see which ones are smooth and which ones are linear. If we want to change the point type, we can right-click or Control-click on the point and change it from linear to smooth. Now we have our Bezier handles. You can manipulate the curve coming in and out of the point. And if you would like to break the connection, you can hold the Option key while clicking on one of the handles. We can now create a smooth curve coming out and a linear curve coming in. With this point, let's modify Control Point 3 and make it linear. Change it back to smooth and change the handle. Go through with each point and modify the curves coming in and out of the points. You can drag the points away to reveal some of the image. Until you get a shape you're happy with. When working with a Bezier mask, it's best to have as few points as possible. It's not perfect, but we'll work with it. With the mask selected, if you bring up the inspector and choose mask, we can add roundness to the mask and feathering. Your mask doesn't have to be perfect if you want to add a little bit of feather that will usually fix the imperfections. Not bad. I could take some time and make it perfect, but you get the idea. Now let's hide the green vase layer and show the white vase layer. Again, this is a scaled down image, so we'll want to create our masks on the group. From here, we'll try the freehand mask. Click and drag points around the vase. Again, this works best with a Wacom tablet. It's not perfect, but we could go back with our control points and make adjustments. Again, holding the option key to break connection between the Bezier handles. Or right click and change linear to smooth. You can also delete points from here as well. Sometimes the freehand tool will give you too many points, and it may help to delete the points. Again, not perfect, but it'll work. Now we have our vase outlined, but as we can see, we need to cut out a shape in the middle. With the group selected, grab the freehand mask and draw out a shape in the middle. As 
So we have the handle shape drawn out, but it's not deleting the background. What we need to do is open the heads up display. From here, change the mask blend mode from add to subtract. By switching the blend mode to subtract, it's telling motion that this mask is going to subtract from the shape, whereas this mask is adding to the shape. We have two other options in the blend modes. We have replace, if this image already had an alpha channel applied to it, or any other information at all inside the alpha mask, it would be replaced by whatever mask we choose, blend mode replace. We also have intersect. With intersect turned on, it only masks areas where the two shapes intersect. So for instance, we have a shape around the vase and a shape inside the handle. So the masks intersect at this point, creating a new mask. Sometimes it's easier to create multiple small masks, all with a mask blend mode of add. Change the view back to color. We can move masks by cut and pasting them, or if we select both layers by command clicking, drag onto the white vase, we can copy them to another layer or group. What we can see here is when we move them to this layer, the masks move. Earlier I mentioned that we want to add masks to groups if the layer is not at its original scale. This is why. We can adjust the mask by clicking and dragging them. We can see it's just not hitting in the right place. We can drag them independently, get it pretty close. But the problem is, if we rearrange these, you may get unexpected results. And again, that is because the white vase 03 layer is not at its original 100% scale before we mask it. In that case, you wanna add your masks to the group, not the layer. We can also mask objects with shapes or text. Let's hide the white vase layer and create a new group. Navigate to library, content, images, folio, bamboo stocks. Drag bamboo stocks to the new group. From here, we can hide the inspector and press shift Z to center your canvas. Now let's create a new group and create a text layer. Return to the bamboo group and choose object, add image mask. By adding an image mask, it allows you to select another layer in your project to use as a mask. Bring up the inspector. Under the image mask tab, we have a mask source well. From here we can drag in the bamboo layer and now it masks the layer. If this was a video clip, we could choose which frame we want the mask to start with and if the movie plays or not. When you create text in motion, it automatically creates an alpha channel. If our image did not have an alpha channel, we can choose what channel we want to use for the alpha. If you remember, every image has four channels, red, green, blue, and alpha. And each channel is made up of a grayscale image, 0 to 255. So for instance, if instead we masked using the green vase layer, make sure the mask is turned off for this layer, and we choose to mask with the blue channel, or the green channel, or the red channel. For this to work properly, we may want to invert the mask. We're not getting a clean mask, because if we return to the green vase layer, and take a look at the blue channel, we can see we don't really have any values that are completely black or completely white. We have a lot of mixtures of gray. What we can do is add a color correction filter, such as levels, and crush those values. So now that we're getting either pure white or pure black. If we return to the bamboo, we can now see we're getting a better mask.